Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Howler for an Hour. This time we're checking out a game called Cobalt Core. This describes itself as a sci-fi roguelike deck builder with a deep new single-axis spin on tactics games. Uh, this is a sort of sci-fi game where you're flying a spaceship around and you're fighting your way through in this uh, roguelike sort of card-based RPG setting. Kind of made me think a little bit of like, oh geez, what was that old roguelike I played? Uh, I always forget the name of it because it's been so long since I played it. Uh, FTL. But unlike FTL, which is active, this is more turn-based. And indeed, it is a it is a roguelike deck builder, which, by the way, is a combination of genres I don't like, actually, usually. I find deck builders to generally always give me bad RNG. But I wanted to check this one out because I definitely think that while it may not necessarily be my sort of game entirely, I definitely think it would be my audience's sort of game in a lot of aspects. Because this is also very furry. Um, apparently it involves time loops and these characters trying to deal with these time loops and trying to figure out what's going on. And it, it looked very interesting from a plot perspective. Uh, even if I maybe am not so sure I'll like the gameplay, but maybe I will like the gameplay. I don't know. Maybe I'll finally find a deck builder that I enjoy out of this game. We'll see. But, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach your partner over here, but of course we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by with a lurker to talk, think about doing so, because it does make a big difference and everybody is cool for coming by. And I, I just honestly love to have people around. It's nice. Old viewers, new viewers alike, I appreciate your attention. I appreciate your time. And uh, if you can come by, it makes a big difference. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. By the way, I did receive a, a fairly large donation earlier today from an anonymous donator. If you're a listening donator, thank you very much for that. Uh, I don't actually get a lot of coffee donations, but it's very much appreciated. And I will always try to leave a comment back if I can. Um, also, we have a merch store as well if you want to check that out. And uh, also, we have had an update to the Waking Drive bonus images. Bonus image three of four is now up. You can see a little preview of it on the left there. Uh, if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description for that website, as well as all links for everything else, too. Check it out if you're interested, because it's good stuff. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this. And yeah, so here's the thing. I don't hate deck builders. I think hate, I, I, it's, it, I don't dislike deck builders as a genre. It's that deck builders dislike me. At least that's how it feels. Every time I play a deck builder, uh, and people watch me play deck builders, and I get like really bad hands and stuff, and and then I have everybody else telling me like, "Oh man, you got well, like usually deck usually you get better you usually get better draws than that in this game." It's like, yeah, that, well I'm playing it, so naturally I won't. <laughs> like <laughs> that's how this kind of works for me usually. But maybe I'll have better luck this time. Let's see. Personality core corrupted. Patched. Empty memory bank. Restoring personality core. Huh. That's curious. Something, something hard of the cards. <laughs> Cat.exe. Hello? Hey, wake up! Ah, my head. Okay, good. Your vitals seem stable. What's happening? I had to wake you all up from Cairo sleep early. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My memories? I needed those. I assume. <laughs> my iPad reported. Sorry, I had no choice. The command turn will always respond to meat based life forms. <laughs> meat based life forms. And there's a ship off the bow powering up their weapons. Ever to the bridge now. Play cards to outweigh your opponent. You draw five cards each turn. Each card costs energy. The card's energy cost is shown at the top left. Fair enough. Get three energy each turn. Use it or lose it. Does not carry over. Got it. Attack with attack cards. Okay. Do I see what an enemy is planning to do? The enemy needs to attack you for one damage. Lock with basic shield. Okay. So that's going to do one damage. I have a one shield there. Okay. And figure out the rest. So, okay, like, Sealed Church. Block up the one incoming damage, cap by max shield. 
Temp shill, block up to one kind of damage, goes away and start. So there's also pink shills that only last for one turn, though. Blue shields are stick around, okay. So you might notice the directional aspect of this. This matters. Let's try, let's do a multi-shot just to lower the shield some more. Okay. Now see he moved. I can do that too. Yeah, dodge. If A deflect dodge attacks, place card to gain one of eight. Oh, okay. Statuses are shown below your ships, some have passed effects, others are used for resources. If A is a status you use to move around. Press RT to spend one evade to dodge. So basically, I spent the card to get an evade, and now I can use evade to move around, but only as to the number of evades I have. Okay. And they do not carry over to future turns, so again, use it or lose it. So we move to the right. Pretty straightforward. It's got a basic positional aspect to it. Obviously, too, if my cannons are... Like, if I tried to shoot a right cannon right now, I'd just miss, so... Okay, you press X to turn card info on and off. Okay. And now I'm just being left to do my own thing. Okay. So you can't build up resources. You can build shield, assuming it's not pink. But you can't build up, like, energy or evade, so... Move right, instantly move, instantly move two spaces to the right and attack. Oh, move spa two spaces to the right and attack. That's interesting. That's one action that does two things. Okay. Um, oh, draw shot. Okay. Let's do that. Obviously, my cannon is centered, but I definitely can have cannons in other positions, as the other ship shows. What if you can modify? Evades do carry over if you use them. Oh, they do carry over. Okay, never mind then. Oh, how did I misread that? So I guess... Okay. I'm gonna test that. Well, I would test that, but... Let's see. Yep, okay, yeah, the base did carry over. Alright, just wanted to see that for myself. <laughs> All right, in that case, I okay, then I already know how I'm going to play this game. Build up evades, attack occasionally, but mostly focus on dodging. This... I have a weird idea. Move left? Can I reverse that? No. Okay, so looks like... Hmm. If you commit to an evade, you can't take back. There's no take back sees. If you're like, oh, I don't want to, oops, I hit that evade button, I don't want to do that evade. It's too bad, you did it. <laughs> but I did want to do it, I wanted to try to lunge out. So it shoots and then, it moves me and then shoots, okay. I wish that you could reverse your decisions. But yeah, if you, if you commit to saying that you're just doing it, so. An artifact. Okay. I do like the combat system, though. I saw it in trailers, and the trailers didn't obviously explain exactly how it works, but I can kind of get an idea of its, like, positional base. So it looked interesting. Okay, what is this? Warp prep, gain one shield and evade on the first turn. Okay. Cool. Help by the ship's crew and change the rules of combat. You can have multiple on each crewmate. Okay, how does this work, then? Does it just activate at the beginning, or...? Let's see. Oh, this is free. Move random. Instantly move three spaces in a random direction. Okay. So a single direction, huh? That could be useful. If the ship is... If moving either direction would evade a shot, then that would be very handy. But granted, that's kind of risky. I think in most cases, 
that card would be a 50-50 chance to dodge an attack. They correspond to crewmates. Oh, they do. You're right. The colors of the... Ah! Dizzy, science officer. Shields are mo His cards are mostly about shielding and shield manipulation. Briggs, pilot. Her cards are mostly flexible movement and card draw. Okay. Perry, weapons officer, mostly about attacks and instant movement. Okay, okay. Interesting. I wonder how that matters. Like, can we have our crew members get downed and then their cards are not available, perhaps? Oh, this is interesting. Move two spaces left, attack, move one space right. That's a very odd little movement. Okay. I'm gonna grab that, because I, I like movement cards. I like to I wanna I wanna see what I can do with movement cards. I think the movement's really important here. Like, shielding's great, but like if I could just dodge attacks, then shields are less necessary, you know? Okay, I'm starting to remember. Right, the cobalt, the hyperdrive. Yeah, you blew it up. Maybe. I vaguely remember pushing a button, the, the white lights. Yeah, you blew it up. <laughs> Guys, shut up. You have this argument every loop. I've heard it 517 times now. Okay, so we're in a loop where our ship blows up, and then we're back, and then we blow up the ship again. Okay, there was a Star Trek episode that was about that. Okay. Fine. All right, so we've got the coordinates of the Cobalt programmed in. Let's get there and stop the time loop. Yeah, it was like the whole episode was like, okay, how can we, like, stop this loop? See, Rickerson remembers. She usually, she's the last one. So it's like that Star Trek episode, but it's furry. <laughs> I guess that's better, then. I am improving. Okay. And we have a... Okay, so it's one of those standard roguelike things where you have three paths to choose from. You can see how the path goes down, so... Uh, strong enemy counter. Artifacts and cards. Oh, okay, both. Repair yard, in case you fucked up with the tutorial mission and need to heal. Unknown energy signature, so you have no idea what it does. Hmm. Artifact, just get an artifact. Repair yard. Hmm. Repair yard is also card upgrades. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. wonder how that works. Is there a currency system, or do I just get a free upgrade each time? I'm going to go with the, uh, hmm. Okay, you know what? We'll start with the repair yard, just so I know what we can repair. Cleo. Howdy, how's it going? Do you normally just sit on the outside of your ship in space without a helmet? God. You really trust those glasses to stay on. Oh, you know, same old. What's this, Like 400 or something? 517! Well, let's get you on your way. Wait, how does he know about the loop? Okay. Remove a card, okay. So that's good to see, by the way. Remove a card is perhaps... Okay, so you remember what I said about bad RNG and deck builders? Typically what ends up happening for me is I will draw all the useless cards over and over again and never get the cards I'm looking for. So I am tempted to use remove a card. There's atmosphere like it's Sonic. Fair enough. Because the most powerful thing ever, in my personal opinion, is a small deck. Assuming, of course, it... Um, can be shuffled and redrawn. Um, so let's see. What do I not like right now? Well, I don't really care for this temp shield. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the temp shield. Really? Remove this card? Yeah. All gone. Don't get rid of that. Well, too bad I did it. Ah, I can't upgrade. So it was a choice between remove and upgrade. Now I learned that. It's just better than your basic white attack. That's a good point, actually. I just really don't like temporary shields. I'm not the only one to be reminded of Space Temp or the dialogue windows of Space Aesthetic, right? I can... Well, now that you bring it up, I can kind of see it. This part is weak. It takes one more damage from attacks. How do you know that? Oh, because there's little icons. Okay, so that, like, okay, so those are... Huh. Wing, Cannon, Missile Bay, takes one more damage from all attacks. Okay. This is like a big Cannon, okay. Hmm. 
thinking. Hmm. I'm going to get shop at both cans regardless. Okay. That's fair. Oh, he's not firing the cans. Oh, that's interesting. What's this? Why is there a little shield? Oh, is, he, is that indicating he's recovering shield? Not sure what that little symbol means there. But... Yeah, I'd much rather dodge than shield. I am, however, lined up pretty good here for... Her. Oh, that's perfect, actually. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, let's just keep it. Let's just keep being evades. Forcing him to move over means he's wasting his time doing that, right? Like he's using his own cards to have to move over. You want to dodge the start of each fight? It, really, I do. Here's the thing. I need, like, wing guns to make the strategy actually work properly. Wow, he moved a lot. <laughs> Wait, is he getting free moves? I don't know how the enemy works. Actually, that's one thing, too, that a lot of deck builders fail to tell you. Do the enemies work on the same deck system? Because right now I have no idea. Most decorators I play have enemies' tails given. Well, this guy is very clear. He shoots all three, and then he shoots the middle, and then he shoots all three, and then shoots the middle. He has a he's a very obvious pattern. Given how much he's moving, I'm gonna guess he doesn't work off the same deck system. Because he sure gets a lot of movements. I thought he would I thought he'd be really expending his energy trying to move back to attack me, but he seems to have no trouble doing that, so I'm assuming he's not bound, unfortunately, to the same system I am. Which is a little I have to admit, that's annoying. I wish he was. I'll take a damage. I have a shield. Probably is, but has a different deck. Maybe. Like, he didn't move that time. Okay, the lunges are working against me now. Hold on. Take 
one damage regardless. I was, doing, I was doing a draw shot and hoping I would get something with a one dodge. I was hoping to get a one dodge. I did not get a one dodge, so I will use Chill Church. Hmm. I just realized I should probably be. Well, actually, no, the wing's not weak, so it didn't really matter. I realize that he's positioned in such a way that lunge becomes slightly less useful than I'd hoped it would be. Oh well. Like, yeah, I realized that shot was gonna miss, but it, it also causes me to leave the range, so. Hmm. Whiplash is actually pretty handy, though. Whiplash seems to set up nicely. Yeah, he's moving so much that either he isn't working off the same deck system or he's kind of being cheap about it. Like, that's a witch. Actually, yeah, I should just attack. There we go. I can beat him before he hits me next turn, so... At least I think I can. Of course, I lost half my health, but you know. Button mash. What's this? Play this card will remove the card for the rest of combat. So, okay. That tells me that if there's exhaust cards, that means I will always refresh my deck otherwise. Except for exhaust cards. Block three damage, move three is left, and get one evade. That's pretty good. Multi-stun, and then we got a rare one. Let's see, multi-stun. Cancel the int intent of the... Oh, okay, so if I shoot a can that's about to shoot me, it can't shoot. So there's a stun, okay. That's pretty good. And it does give me a move as well. Oh, it's shoot a stun shot, move left, shoot a stun shot. So there's a pretty good odds I can stop a cannon using that. Uh, let's see. This is awesome. Draw one card from each color from the draw pile. So basically three cards. And it's free. But I can only be used once. I'm gonna grab the multi stun. So I prefer cards that don't exhaust. That's kinda nice, but yeah. Uh I'm gonna take the weird unknown energy signature. What's this? Brimford. Salutations, you're looking for smuggling work. Yeah, that's correct. I just need someone to hold on to the stolen artifact for a jiffy. What's this? Be offered a random artifact or something bad will happen. So, 50% chance of this being bad. Gain one extra energy on the first turn. Okay, that seems nice. How do I equip these? There you go. Okay. Hard to protect it. Drops is activated. Dang, now we have followed. Okay, sure. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I be told how to... How do I... Oh, they're just equipped? Okay, are they... I thought I had to equip them. Okay. Oh, alright then. Looks like it's just the same attack as before. Um. Oh, actually. Too bad it doesn't do any damage, but still. Immediately came in useful. Uh, let's see.
Oh, sorry, I mean to use that. <laughs> I pressed the wrong one. Uh, let's just still church. Oh, I can't now. Whoops. Oh. Oh, this guy's actually smart. He lined me up this time. All right, then. Good for, pro tip for deck builders, exhaust cards have the benefit they are in the deck for first after producing use. Means the long run you can help keep your deck thin, even one more card. True, but if the exhaust card is something I'd like to see over and over again, it kind of makes the point moot. I gotta be punchy sometimes. Okay, he's be, he's definitely being a little more annoying. Okay. That said, I guess I can also rely on my shells to some degree. Let's see. Not good enough. Ah, that was a two cost card. Oh well. So the tip shield does get removed first. Okay, that's good to know. That makes it a little more useful. I could scramble to avoid both shots. I guess it's worth taking the one damage shot, though, isn't it? It's mostly about dodging that three cannon. Actually, this sets me up nicely for the next shot, too, now I think about it. So that's gonna trigger some something that gives a chance for an exhausting a card. That's fair. My point is that I still have the mentality I do with many games where if something exhausts, I'd prefer not use it in the first place. I prefer to rely on what I can reuse. It's always how I've been. That's always how I play. Yeah, so I always recharge one shield, so it's always okay to get shot by the except by the cans on the side, right? The key is really, um, the key is mostly to avoid getting shot by that middle cannon. Because who cares about the side cannons if I can recharge fast enough? Um. Oh, Merle, thank you very much! Uh, do I want to shoot him? I think I want to shoot him. I think I can overwhelm him next turn. Two shields, okay. There we go. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting the, okay, that second fight I feel like I did better than the first one. So I'm kind of starting to understand. Oh, okay, you're an interesting ship. Look at this little pilot too, it's like some robot insect thing. That's kind of neat. Um, all right, let's see. Hmm, smaller ship profile too, okay. Maybe weak spots? Well. Are Whistle Bay's a weak spot? I can't understand. I, it was that one time, but I'm not sure if it just is always. <laughs> now it doesn't seem like it this time. And draw a shot that gave me no dodge cards. Cool. Guess I'll have to use the multi-stun to get a movement out of the way. <laughs> I guess it actually... I guess I may as well use Whiplash, actually. If I'm gonna get shot regardless. No, yeah, because it would, it would also cost less. I know it's gonna miss the shot, but... There. Oh, I could've... I didn't have to use the shield, I could've used Multi-Stun. Well, regardless. I guess it's ultimately the same result. 
Somebody's gonna give you a car. This can't be Dodge. Get ready. What? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what does that mean? Thanks? <laughs> Alright. Also, what do you mean can't be Dodge? Seems like it's getting shut out. Give you a junk cart? Oh no. This is a game that's gonna throw junk carts on me? Then I'm doomed, guys. That's exactly the sort of thing that shuts me down. Trash. Yeah, that's that good. Then I'm not gonna be able to play this game. Cool. <laughs> good to know. Oh, thank you, Sonic. Oh, you have to play it and then it exhausts it. Okay. I see. I mean, to be fair... Looks like I can do some damage. Just... At least they don't attack every turn. However, they are giving me a lot of trash. They're giving me three trash cards per every other turn. That seems rather unreasonable in my personal opinion. But, okay. No, like, the number of reasons I can't play deck builders is that I always get bad hands. Even if the game is technically supposed to be balanced to not have that bad RNG on me, it still does it anyways. Wait a minute, can I... Oh yeah, I can! I can stop it from doing that. I wasn't sure if... Like, they said it couldn't be avoided, so I was like, well, I guess I just accept it. No, I can stun it away. Not that it really helps me that much, I'll be honest, but hey, you can. Lunge would be a lot more useful for me if it was shoot and then move. I realize now that that would be more helpful for me. Hit and run, not run and hit. I'm just gonna fuck him up. <laughs> I have to admit, the trash isn't fucking me up as much as I thought it would. It's certainly showing up. Okay, now I can't attack this turn because of it. That's fine. I think the fact that he gives you trash is kind of mitigated by the fact he only attacks every other turn. That kind of does balance it out. Also, his shield regeneration is... Wait, he only regenerates shields every other turn, doesn't he? Wait, what the fuck? Didn't... Didn't I just play a two damage card? He had one shield and one health. So I guess if you do a two damage card... That's not, not two shots, it's one... So I guess the shields absorb all the damage from a single attack. Two, da two move, one damage. Oh, I mixed it up. Alright, anyways. Just want to make sure I got that straight. Okay. I guess that's true, Krasovs. Alright, let's see. Max shield lower by one for the rest of combat. But you get four. Yeah, you can block four. Okay, that seems like an odd trade off, but sure. And this is a stun shot. Okay. Stun charge. Next one attacks, this will stun. That's free! That's pretty good. This is free. I'll take it. Uh, gain one energy every time you spend three plus energy playing a card. Well, I don't have any cards that spend three plus energy, but okay. <laughs> it's like maybe, maybe I'll be useful later. 
So repair six hull. So I can repair the hull, remove a card or upgrade a card, but I can't do all of them. I have to pick one. I'd like to know how the upgrade system works, so I guess I'll go to that. Okay, so... Preview. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. That is an interesting choice for the basic shot upgrade. Okay. Oh! Wait, what's the... what's the... oh, it's an exhaust card. That's the catch. Okay. A free basic dodge sounds really tempting. Scramble... giving... okay, scramble giving... okay, you know what? What would be the most useful to me here? Whiplash. Flippable. In combat, press B on this card to flip the direction. Oh! That's kind of... that's cool. So I can go right and then left. Alright. Preferably, I can just make it more powerful. Okay. Okay, the upgrade system seems interesting. In fact, the upgrade system seems more valuable than anything else. I guess a temp shield. That's nice. Uh, but let's see. What, would I, what do I want here? Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, this one does damage. Hmm. I think upgrading the, uh, the dodge seems pretty good. Do I want to upgrade scramble, though? Huh. Instantly move two spaces in a random direction. Wait! My objective is usually just to move one direction or the other. So I can just see where the random direction moves me and then evade the rest of the way. That could be useful, too. It's random, but that would mean four movement. And I can just... I can just... Pair them... And again, I think the controlled movement is slightly better, though. Because that's just more RNG. So... I think I'll do Scramble. Rad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's do the Heart Encounter. Why not? Tim Fates. That's six guns. What on earth is that ship? It has so many guns. Hey! Did you guys know there's a big bounty out for a ship with your registration number? We did not! Thanks for letting us know! No sweat. Well, we better be getting on our way! No. Okay. Sure. Thanks, Mr. Mole. This part is brittle. Double damage for Well, okay. Cool. I'm glad that part takes double damage from attacks, but it's also in the middle of all of its cannons. So that's nice, but I don't care. Let's see here. Next one attacks with stun. Okay, so I have a plan. Aw, oh, man. Multi-stun going the other direction would be amazing right now. Too bad it doesn't go that way. Uh, let's see. I would like... To... Yeah, I know I'll do. Yeah, I got a plan. Okay. And... Do I want to eat the shot, or do I want to keep the shield? Wait, why do I have three energy? Oh, right, I have that one thing that gives me extra energy. I forgot about that. I think I'd rather lay on the damage in this turn, which I can do. I mean, I could multi-stun to avoid damage entirely. First card costs zero. Why is that? Oh yeah, that's right. It was a free card. Duh. But why did my second card cost? My second card cost one. I had four energy. That's it. Okay. So I could multi-stun and then do an attack, or. I could do four damage. I think the damage was more worth it in that situation. Okay, let's see. Okay, got scramble here, that's good. Let's move. Scramble. What, what is that? One times three. So he's going to shoot three shots from that gun? All right. That's cool. That's cool, bro. Whatever. Well, let's see. 
next shot. So I may as well just... Hmm. There's no functional way of using the stun charge, but... I mean, I guess so. I mean, it's free, so whatever. Um, let's see. I'm gonna use that to move a bit. Scramble, because I'd like the energy, and then move. Yeah, upgrade and scramble made a bit of a difference here. I'm, okay, I like that he's not center me. Do you think this is too many cannons? I do, yeah. <laughs> are, we just kind of, are we just gonna casually have conversations with the enemies sometimes? Alright. Yeah, my opinion is this. Oh, anyways, let's get back to killing each other. Does moving take energy? No. It costs evade. Oh, you know what? So you just well, it's, okay, that would cost two. Perhaps it, no, that might that might be more efficient. Cause I can use one move, take out his guns. Alternatively, that would leave me a two move. Alternatively, I could, yeah, that actually probably makes. Or I could lunge, but that would require more movements. Yeah, that seems the most smart. I should do that. This is my big cool attack. No, it isn't. It's just a basic one shot. <laughs> I disagree. Um, okay, that moves me the wrong direction. Whiplash isn't useful. Let's use a draw shot to see what we get out of it. Okay, that moves me left as well. It's, again, don't really want to go that way. Okay. Uh, I have no shield at the moment, so let me think. Now let's. Stun charge, basic dodge. See, I have three movement. That'll get me out of the way of one of them. Okay, yeah, this will work. So, move, shoot, move, move. There we go. I had to think about it. I think lunge is very useful. It's come in handy a lot of times. Um, and I guess scramble and move. That's good. Whiplash is more useful now. And... Good. Draw shot did not give me enough, so I will do... Silt Church. Actually, I see the value of the temporary shield, because now I still have the permanent shield. Because the temporary took it. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, well, this is perfect. And, uh... No, I don't even care. Fuck you. Alright, you know, I'm kind of learning this. Endless Magazine. Gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. Exhaust. Play this card for... Okay, so what the fuck's a, a chip shot? Wait. Oh, so if I use Endless Magazine, it costs two and it's exhausted. But I gain a chip shot at the start of- Oh, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Okay, so if I use that, I get a free attack card that is immediately exhausted, but also gets replaced every turn, so it may as well just always exist. So, wait a minute. This is- yeah, this is a free attack every turn. That's a- That seems worth using. See what else we got. Button mash, block up to three incoming damage, max cap and max shield. I will do a little walkies, by the way, one moment. For my health, I have to stand up now then. Due to health issues. Alright, let's see. Instantly move three spaces to the left. Fade, let's move left, right. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you get a movement and an evade and a shield, but it exhausts. Okay. And corrosion beam. The stats will be applied to the enemy. Deals one hull damage at the end of every turn. Ooh, that seems pretty good, too. Does that just... If I... Notice how I'm dodging a lot? Okay, I'm going to do Endless Magazine, though. Corrosion Beam's kind of nice, too, because I could literally just play in nothing but keep away and they would die. They're, these are both cool. But I think Endless Magazine has more potential. 
it appears that one hull damage at the end of every turn, so as long as I as long as I just live, the enemy will eventually die. Also, Crowd deals one hull damage at the end of every turn, which means that if the enemy has really good shields, doesn't matter, it's still doing hull damage. I don't even care if it stacks, if I'm just constantly doing damage to him, regardless of attacking, I can focus on dodging. Crow does exhaust, yes. But if it's upgrade, perhaps it doesn't exhaust. Corrosion Beam might be really powerful. Because, since, you, you notice how I'm not doing a ton of damage? Like, I'm doing, I'm doing decent damage, but... Hmm. Because these are both... To put it very simply, both of these cards give me just a free damage every turn. The only real difference is, for Endless Magazine, I still have to position for it, and I might have to shoot through their shields. But Corrosion Beam doesn't have to worry about shields, and I don't have to worry about aiming it. Yeah, I, I, can, be I can be completely out of line of sight of, of the guy, he's still taking damage. I'm going to take Corrosion Beam. I think, I think that's a good setup card for how I play. Now, especially if it if it can be stacked. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a card that exhausts, but I wonder if you can get others, you know? Let's see here. Every time you heal, you heal one more. Well, I don't really have healing at the moment. Uh, heal one after each... Well, that's nice. That's, like, really good, actually. Uh, every time an attack misses the enemy by one space, the enemy takes one damage. Oh, no. I'll take the map if I remain. Razor's kind of nice, but... Yeah, uh, heal one after each combat. That seems kind of strong in a game where it seems like healing is the main. Like obviously, I can use a repair shop to heal, but I kind of don't want to. I need to. I really need to touch up my cards. Speed of which, let's go to corrosion beam. What's what's uh, what's it do? Okay, so we our choices for corrosion beams upgrade is corrosion beam A. The stats will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. Okay, well yeah, that makes sense. Oh, the cost goes down. So we either have the cost go down, or two damage every turn for three cost. Um. Well, gee, that's double the damage for one extra energy. So I'd have to spend an entire turn on it. But you have the artifact. What artifact? Oh yeah, the artifact that starts the turn. Well, yeah, if I get first turn with the four energy. Oh, right, right, I do have a three- yeah, I guess a three-cost card is worth it, then. Yeah, I'll take that. There, I basically just stacked it because I doubled it. Ooh, <laughs> even he's like, ooh, an unknown power fluidity. Okay, let's see how this goes, guys. Riggs, are you picking up any hostile ships on radar? No, why? My sisters are going crazy over here. Let's see. Uh, no, no corp signatures within a light year. Hmm, switching citrus to visual spectrum. Ah, big crystal. Ah, uh, big crystal. Okay, big crystal. Ah, uh, big crystal. <laughs> yeah, that is it. All right. Um. Hmm. What was that artifact? That wait. What happened? What did that artifact do? If I spit a three cost energy card, I forgot. And I guess in this situation, I will do that. Do that. Do that. Probably should use the the card draw one first, but whatever. Let's see. Gain one energy every time you spend a three plus energy card. Okay, yeah. Basically, I have four energy if I use corrosion beam. Which, by the way. Um, you know, I think it's even... Yeah, I'm just going to take the damage, because I can use the Corrosion Beam, get a free energy, and then use a basic block. Wait, hold on. Does Stun Charge apply to Corrosion Beam? Because, theoretically, I'm, I'm going to shoot the cat in front of me, right? Let's see. No, no, it just applies... It's not a shot, it just applies it. No matter where, it's not, I, I don't actually shoot them. They just, yeah. But it's fine. Block. Now, we get as many dodges as possible. And I don't even care about damage, so let's just get the hell out of the way. 
Oh, that's a very high damage shot. Can I get out of the way of it? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> I only moved one! Alright. <laughs> Okay, it has trouble moving. I have learned its weakness. Goodbye. I'm just gonna leave. Just gonna keep going. Bye. May not always get a dodge, but that's fine. It's gonna stack up the evade since it does stack. Yeah, I don't even... See, this is nice, because I don't have to worry about getting into its... Like, I don't have to line up with it anymore. I don't have to. I can just do this. It's fine. In fact, I dare say this... I think my DPS is better now, without me hitting the target directly, than it was when I was having to hit the target directly. Like, I'm pretty sure this is actually superior damage DPS than I was doing before. And I'm just filling up shield as well, in case I need it. Yeah, this is a strategy. Hurt the enemy and then just run away and let him die. I've done this in multiple games. This is <laughs> this is a tactic I've used before. Make us the day or deck to better facilitate. So I do I do want to say one thing that kind of bot. Oh, he's well. If you want to be so much in range, I'll shoot you. Fine, <laughs> here. Actually, you know what? May as well just lay into him some. Okay. <laughs> Perry's like, oh, it's fine. We're missing shots tactfully. It's all good. There we go. Oh! Oh, I got a heal! Oh, I got a heal. Plus one, plus two max hold, plus nine hold. So I think I got an upgrade and a heal. Okay. Okay, so that proves it. Using the shop for repairs. You notice how I didn't do it? I, I was kind of beat up, but I was not healing. Yes, it worked out. If you think you can pull it off and you get to the end of a section, you get a heal anyways. So it's probably better to upgrade. Also, skipping rewards is always a thing I can consider. What's this? Ace gain one evade every. T oh, you don't. You don't say. What else? Discard all cards. Draw five. No. Oh, another corrosion beam. You don't say. Well, I feel like I had enough evade in that fight, so let's go ahead and get a second corrosion beam. Because remember, we also learned that I don't even have to be lined up with the enemy to use Corrosion Beam. It just kind of happens. It's so, like I just wiggle my fingers and it gets the effect. So, um, so I will get the Corrosion Beam, and next time I hit a shop, I could upgrade that Corrosion Beam immediately. But I think what I'll do is I'll trim down my deck to have more evades. Or I could upgrade the... If I upgrade the Corrosion Beam immediately... Actually, yeah, I think that might be worthwhile. Because I was getting enough evades anyways. Now, if I if the, if the I do run to a ship that starts dumping junk onto me, it will slow down my evades. So I do have to consider that. What do we got here? Gain one extra energy every turn. Your ship's cannons become weak at the start of combat. Wait, hold on. Does that... Wait, takes one more damage from all attacks. Okay. That might be worth it. Maybe. Since I don't need my cannons to be lined up with their cannons anymore. Every tenth time you draw a card, gain one energy. That's... Huh. And simplicity. On pickup, remove three cards. What do you mean on pickup? Oh! 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 Oh, I get it! 
Oh yeah, fuck yeah! <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's get rid of. Uh... I was very confused what that meant at first. <laughs> let's see. Uh, I would like to remove. Well, I don't know. I guess basic shots. What do you, what do you guys think? What three cards should I remove? Yeah, let's get rid of the basic shots. Okay. Uh, draw shot is still useful. Because I can fire, fire that into either and draw a couple cards. That's very handy. Um, yeah, multi-stun has limited use now. I will admit. I guess Whiplash, you just tend to keep going right. <laughs> yeah, that's true! I do kind of skip on Whiplash because it moves me technically one left. Granted, I don't mind moving Like, I'm moving right because that's the more functional direction with my cards, but I would be okay at moving... I'd be okay at moving left as well. It just seems like I ultimately move right. <laughs> um, either or it works. I just want to stay in one direction. Um, so let's see. Basic block. Get rid of the basic block because I got Shield Church. You have a point there. Though, alternatively, if I don't get my evades and all I got are shields, then I'd be happy to have, in some situations, basic block and still shirts together, but... Hmm. Yeah, lunch takes me right, so that's ultimately what I just do. I just go, where? where's lunch? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, I'll get rid of basic block. You have a point. Nice, that's the first time you guys managed to beat that thing, after that many loops? Wait, really? How many times have we tried? You know what I know? What even was it? If these reads are correct, I think it's some kind of time crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab, and the kobold's particle accelerator. They're ever so large. Did the microscopic ones try to kill you? Hmm. Not in a way that I was able to perceive, no. Let's keep moving. Alright, next sector then. We shall leave the Lazuli zone. I see it. Co Kobold's the name of the game. Lazuli was the name of that zone. Sapphire Cluster. So we have, like, gemstones as a really important theme of the names. Uh, the nav system has taken us through this lawless sector. The zone is full of pirates, thieves, and smugglers. Like the last one, was it? Everyone should have their sidearms on them at all times, in case we get bored. Is that a thing? Oh, hell yeah. Do I get a gun? Everyone but you. Every okay. Oh, hello. All right. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Well, we start with enough to get a scramble. And a corrosion. Now, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, see? He has a ton of shields! Does it matter, though? That was, by the way, I had the weaker corrosion, but that's alright. So in this case, by the way, depending- if the ship is small like this, I might be going left or right sometimes. For instance, in this case, I am definitely going left or right, so... Uh, let's go ahead and just use Whiplash, because it's nice and efficient. Huh. Yeah, that's all. I'm stuck with that. So here's the key detail. There's the other one. Okay, good. Uh, remind me. What was the artifact? Let's see. Get one energy every time you spend three plus energy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> three damage. <laughs> Impressive, really. Eh. I'll do. Yeah, he's getting absolutely wrecked. Bye. Hmm. Oh my god. Battle repair. Block up to one incoming damage. Cap by hu max hull. Heal one hull. Oh, it heals hull. It's an exhaust card, but it's kind of neat. Oh, a corrosion beam. Really? So the corrosion beam is also helpful because I can stack them up and not worry about them replacing my evades since they exhaust. So I see your point. Exhausts are, in fact, useful. Because I don't have to worry about the corrosion beam stuffing my deck if I pick up, like, too many. Um, search discard. Move a card to your hand. 
You know, technically I could also use that to get my upgrade corrosion beam back after using it. Um, I think it might be more efficient to get Echo B. Do Exhaust go to the discard? I don't know. Okay, I, I thought Exhaust was the discard. Okay. Because, I mean, all the cards just shuffle and re return to my deck, so I just kind of assumed there wasn't a discard for non-exhaust cards. Okay, I'm playing with Risk. Okay. Uh, Corrosion Beam? Again, an Exhaust, so I, I can't really- I don't really really worry about it getting in the way, so... Um, I'm gonna take whatever path leads me to more shops, which doesn't really appear to be... I guess I'll take the lower path, because it's... well... That shop... Oh, that shop's gonna force me on the upper path regardless. But that path, that one would it. But then I have to wait longer for a shop. Hmm. Hmm. See, lower brings me through some strong encounters, but I think I'll do this middle one, then top one, then this one, and then I'll decide from there. I mean, I don't mind finding the bosses. I think the bosses are actually kind of good to get this, like, with the strategy. Getting hell from a research special. Hell, <laughs> it is a hell. Look at that. Are you available for a brief test of the doctor of the great Doctor Bajoran's greatest adventure, the Duplatron? This might sting a bit. Let's see. Duplicate card in deck. Pay for deck four times. Lose three max hull. Mm, do I want to duplicate cards right now? I mean, if it duplicates lunge, that's great, but I can't choose. Oh, wait, I do choose. Never mind. Okay, I thought it was random, so I was like, ooh, but it could upgrade something I don't care about. Okay, I get to choose. What? Th lose three max hull to upgrade it four times? Or do it once? You can duplicate the upgrade scrap. I could. Man, I wish I had upgraded lunge right now. Cause if I had upgraded lunge, wait, what was? Wait, no, scramble. Actually, what was scramble again? I forgot how it upgraded. Can I look at my cards right now? Actually, wait, hold on. Go up to the cards. No, no, I want to look at the cards. Can I look at my fucking deck for a second? <laughs> I guess not. Well, I guess I. Hmm. I want to look at my deck before I choose something. Um, scrambles the two energy three move. Yeah, okay, that's right. Upper look. Yeah, I guess maybe if I use my mouse. Oh, great. My mouse is not active right now. I'm scared to click the screen. It might select an option. If I click with my mouse to make it show up, it might select an option, though. Wait, hold on. Maybe if I select my wing? Okay, there we go. So I don't think I can do this with controller. Unless it's like, oh wait, no, okay, it's it's the select button that does. It. Okay, that makes sense. Um, right. Cause like if I pick one of the two upgrade options, I may not be able to back out and pick the other one at that point. So I want to look at my deck first. Um Here's the thing, Scramble's really good. Upgrade Scramble's really good. Upgrade Corrosion Beam being duplicated is also a really good idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you know what, I, I know, I know what I'm doing. There. I'm totally fine with having less HP if I have ridiculous numbers of dodges. Chow, 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 hoo hoo! What? <laughs> That's a weird way of saying goodbye. Oh, the corrosion beams were very tempting too, but if this attack hits you, it gives you a card. Okay. Yep, gonna launch an object. Don't know what it is. There's no ship part here. It's empty. If shots fired. This part will miss. Oh, okay. Good mechanics to know that I don't have to interact with. <laughs> so the missile bay is gonna launch something, but I don't know what it is. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, that would matter if I 
had to deal with it. Fortunately, that's a missile. It's just sitting there. Object in the mid are between you and the enemy ship, which can block attacks. They are much weaker, the ship will be destroyed if they are hit by anything at all. I assume it's also going to eventually fire forward. Yeah, it's going to deal to the Okay, so it sits there for a turn. Hello, Scramble, how you doing? Here's the problem with Scramble. I can only use one. Regardless, right? So that's a bit of a problem. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to stay away from the missile. I'm going to get shot, but that's all right. And yes, I did have to think about that. I guess I could have done Corrosion Beam, but... All right, I'm just going to move one, because it doesn't really matter. And he's going to shoot up. What? Oh, I lost the energy. That's interesting. Okay, so he has... What, if I'm, what happens if I stun the rocket? Okay, he just destroys it. But a missile's gonna get shot at or whatever. Um, oh, it's gonna give me a card. It's, it's gonna be a jump card, right? Should I just take it? So look at this, look at this motherfucker. Is that a, is that a dolphin guy? Hmm. I'll just take the card. Hey, how dare you? Why did that hurt me? I thought it was just supposed to be a card. Ah, one energy on draw. Oh, I see. That's mean. At least I could get rid of them by just... yeah. Wait, why is that missile... oh, great. <laughs> Hold on, things are getting complicated. Alright, let's see here. It's going to deal two damage, you cannot miss. Okay. So I guess my bolts are still kind of important. If I kill you before that becomes a problem, though, you have maximum shields. I can't do that. But... Now my corrosion would take two turns regardless. Okay. There we go. Alright, I just need to survive the round and I'm good. Okay. I think walking out of that weird, tricky encounter of one damage is fine. That's not too bad. Seal Church does have its uses. But I think I might just upgrade that. I don't want a second one. I just want to upgrade the one I have. Panic. Move random, shield, and do an attack. No. <laughs> I'm good. We're good with those. Okay. So the question I want to ask now is do I go ahead and take out do, do I go ahead and take the powerful route to get some artifacts or do I take play the safe route and hit this repair yard and take just normal route hmm I guess we'll see how this next fight goes before I ask that question. What's this guy doing? Missiles? Okay. I wonder if they're seekers or not. I guess I don't know until they shoot. Hmm. Okay, I can't do too much this turn. Gotta wait a bit. What the hell is that thing? Uh, destroyer will damage its destroyer for two. But not me? I wonder how it works. 
Like, that's nice, but like, how does it hurt me out of curiosity? Oh, we'll destroy- Oh, it's Destroyer! So if he shoots it, he'll take damage. If I shoot it, I'll take damage. Okay, okay, okay. Bye, lol. <laughs> well, I'll just leave it to him to mess up and shoot it. If he wants to. I need to, you know, honestly, I think the best thing is to upgrade the scrambles to cost one. Because then I can pair them with another scramble. So that's what I'm going to do with the next card shop. I'm going to upgrade scramble. Wait, I can't. Actually, can I upgrade scramble to cost less? Can I upgrade it again? I don't know, actually. I haven't tested that. Okay. Um, I guess it's fine to stay in front of the mine as long as I'm not... Um, Oh, that part's brittle. Well, if you want to line up like that. I know. Why did it instantly heal? Oh, it's armored. Wait, is it? Wait, it said it was brittle. It said it took double damage. And then I shot it. And now it's like, this part takes one less damage than all attacks. Okay, is it brittle or does it have armor, game? Because I feel like I just got tricked there, but all right. Well, if I had known that, I would have shot the cannon. Oh, well. Check the enemy buffs. Uh, what the hell is this? Whenever the ship gets shot, the part that was hit gains armor for the rest of the turn. Well, okay. I much prefer corrosion in this case, then. Well, now that I know that, uh, I should have shot the I should have shot this gun, because then I would have only had to evade twice instead of having to evade four times now. However, I thought I could do double damage, so I went ahead and did that. I thought it would be more valuable, that's all. Hmm. One times three. I'm not worth getting hit by that. Would like to apply the corrosion me, but I gotta I gotta move first. So. You know, the more mines he places down, the harder it's going to be for him to shoot me, actually, I realize. Which is good. <laughs> Idiot. Holy shit, he fucked yourself. Oh, you're going to shoot me. Okay, if you want to do that. I mean, it's your, it's your fucking choice. Wait, no, it's going still hit me. I have to move because it's a two shot. What are you doing? I didn't need to shoot him, but I figured I'd just... Why not? <laughs> pew, pew, mine dead. <laughs> Very good. All right. <laughs> what we got here? Front loaded blast B. Attack for four damage. Add your fumes. Add three fumes to your draw pile. Oh, they're bad. They're just empty cards. You have to use... Oh, wait. That Wait. Okay, so they, they would replace a normal card draw. Thus, they are a disadvantage. But they cost nothing to play, and then they're gone. Okay. Seems like a fair trade-off. I wonder how the... Wait. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Front of Blast I wonder if... Does that require my cannon? Because it's kind of an unusual card. So can it be used maybe with my cannon? Is it, does it get used via my cannon, or is it like corrosive where it like... Okay, it does use my cannon, so I still have to aim. What's this? Move two space left, temp shield. Hmm. That's not bad. You notice how some enemies do force me to move left? This would be a useful card. That's pretty cheap, too. One cost. You know what? I think I'll grab that. Oh, there's just a free artifact this way. Yeah, I could go this way. I get I get two artifacts. I get three artifacts this bad. I have to fight a hard enemy. Oh, it's a fucking crystal. Well, we already know that they're not such a big... Well, at least the last one wasn't. So, let's see. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I don't even have to move. Let's see. Um... Okay, just 
scramble for now, I guess. Okay, there's a lot of guns, got it. Let's apply a corrosion beam and then move. Hmm. Yeah, that seems good. I'll take one damage, but it's fine. Oh, yeah, I can also move over too, like this. Makes it a little easier. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'll just tank the one damage. Okay, now I, I definitely want to move out. Ooh, that's an interesting. That's an interesting predicament they put me in here. Well, I guess I could multi-stun. Oh, wait, hold on. Haha! <laughs> I was like, wait, I can slip between that. All right, let's see. Uh, whiplash and scramble? Faint and scramble. Whiplash and scramble, faint and scramble. No, faint, whiplash would miss. Faint. I'm gonna take the dam- I'm gonna take some damage out of this, unfortunately, but... There's no reason to move any further. Okay. Just enough to move out of the way. Thank goodness we- yeah, it's very good we upgrade these. This guy's hard to move out of the way of, actually. Oh, no, I have an idea. Okay. Hmm. Left moving cards, not so useful. That's just enough dodge, so that's fine. more corrosion, why not? Um, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's not too bad. I'm gonna take some damage again, unfortunately. But... That's a little less. If I had one attack, more attack card, I would have tried to kill them. Obviously, that would have worked, but... Oh, well. It's fine, because I'm getting an artifact out of it, so I, I think it's fine. Um, oh, we got Ace again. Ace A. Oh, wait a minute, guys. If there's a, num if there's a letter after the name of the card, that means it's already upgraded. This is a pre-upgrade card, so... Now, we don't know what Ace B is, but I assume Ace B is probably, like, more of A, but it costs more to spend it. I think the A path is generally the, this reduces the cost of the card, and the B path is, this makes it more powerful at higher cost. Um, yeah, so. Uh, two cost Ace makes it, is better than the other one we have. So, let's see. Tip Shield. Tip Shield whenever they attack. Okay, yeah, let's get Ace. I think one extra evade return would be a big deal for me. And an artifact. Gain one energy every third turn. Good. Uh, at the start of combat, tape tip shield equal to your missing hull. Interesting, but... It's one of those, if you're playing well, it's going to be less useful. If you're playing poorly, it's not. Every five parry cards played, gain a chip shot. Oh. Well, I don't... Nah. I'll take the overclock generator. I don't remember how many parry cards I have, but yeah. I'll also, let's see. We just got a free artifact. Cockpit lock on. All enemy cockpits start with weak. I mean, okay, sure, why not, I guess. <laughs> That's not going to be too often used for me, uh, taking advantage, but sure. <laughs> Good afternoon, is it? <laughs> you got to be contrarian. All right, do I want to remove a card or upgrade a card? Probably upgrade again. I feel like my deck's all right right now. Hmm. 
Do I upgrade Corrosion Beam? Let's see. So, having some Corrosion Beam A's wouldn't be a terrible idea. Because I can't- I cannot generally play these Corrosion Beams very easily without getting hit. But if I have some Corrosion Beam A's, I could definitely lay on a few more without having too much trouble doing so. Alternatively, of course, there's always options like making basic dodge free. I mean, what what other options should I look at? Draw shot lets me draw more cards, or do more damage. Okay, so that's mildly useful. Faint, faint gets double tip. Oh, what's this? This okay. Faint B gives me an evade and a move and a shield. That turns it into an evade card, in addition to a movement. Oh, but the movement goes down. So I don't know if I like that. That kind of makes- that kind of seems pointless, actually. If that was 1-2-1, one, one, that would be amazing. Silt Church? Uh... Either 2-1 or 1-2. Ah, what's this, though? M oh, max shield is raised by 1 for the rest of combat. Well, I'm not really filling up my shield, so I doubt that'd be that useful. Can you choose your extra of lunch? Yes, I can flip it and go the other way with lunch. Lunge is pretty good for dodging, actually. The only problem is that sometimes the enemy lines up in such a way where if I go to the right, I'm entering more gun range because of how you position. So having lunge flippable would actually be pretty handy. Lunge is a free to, is is a very cheap two movement. So okay, I'll upgrade lunge. Hello. It's a squid. No, wait, don't. No. I don't know what it is. It's a glorp. Starnacle, so it's a barnacle. Okay. Oh, look, Ace, right at the beginning. Yeah, seems like a good time to have it immediately. Okay, uh, let's see. And then we'll faint. Yeah, seems good. So I can flip the card by hitting B, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah, look at that. Yeah, okay. I guess, uh, I guess those are useful to me. Actually, I should probably not destroy them. So, what, cannon. These are cat Guys, these are not tentacles or cannons. Didn't you know? If you've ever seen a squid, they have around six cannons. If you've seen an octopus, they have around eight cannons. You should keep this in mind when you go to the aquarium. Um, anyways, <laughs> let's see. Okay, well that shot's gonna get blocked, so I have a free turn. Let's apply some corrosion beans. And then a basic dodge, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, you're not playing asteroids, you're trying to kill me. Pay attention. Alright, well that's fine. Apply corrosion. This guy has a lot of health. And scramble, I suppose. Every third turn, I get more energy, so I was able to spin both of those. You are not even making it hard to dodge you. What the hell is you doing? Um, okay. See, Whiplash Reverse would be kind of an interesting thing, too. Um, I mean, let's just draw a shot first and see what I end up with. So, so far, it looks like Asteroid Field is, like, my friend. Oh, he's trying something new now. Oh, he's gonna give me a jump card, I think? Okay. I guess I'll faint and then... Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, I may as well. It doesn't really matter too much, but... 
13 dodges, that seems pretty good. Abyssal visions. Okay, that's not jump. That, that's an interesting. What does that do? Can I can I find out? What's this? Play this. Remove the card for the rest of combat. This card will be moved to the end of combat. So is it just a jump card that looks really creepy and it shakes? All right, costs a bit, but all right, doesn't seem too dangerous. You know, I could. Do two dodges to the left. Or. Stop. <laughs> Wait, was that a weak point? Oh, yeah! That's why I did so much damage. Okay. I didn't, I didn't even notice that detail. <laughs> oh, he lost his shield and now he's doing big attacks. Okay. Hmm. Noted. Shrug. 21 fucking do- I had 21 evade. What the actual hell, man? Yeah, this seems like a pretty good combination I have here. <laughs> like how there's only one? Man, you suck at positioning, sir. Granted, I guess I was well positioned to just dodge, so. Right, let me just get 25 evade, hold on. <laughs> nice work, destroy all those asteroids. I guess you're dead now. Alright, let's see. I, is this a deck builder that's actually working out for me? Maybe it is. Um, hand cannon. X equals the amount of other cards you're... Okay, X equals the amount of other cards in your hand. I'm probably not going to grab this, but I'm just trying to understand. S wait, though. What is... Wait, okay, so X equals hand. Damage is X. So damage is number of cards in your hand. Oh, X equals hand. Okay, just damage. Okay, so like... I get you. So the damage is whatever the number of cards your hand is. Counting hand cannon or not counting hand cannon, I wonder. Oh, now we're never B, so we have an upgrade here. What is this? Evade. Let's see, move left or right. Left. Okay, just lose all evade next turn. W wait. Whoa, no way. What the fuck? Nope. <laughs> That's not. Oh, yeah, I'd love to get three evade this turn and then lose 22 next turn. <laughs> what? Um, okay. I don't think I need button mash. It's well then getting a ton of shield might be important at some random point, but that is pretty good. Cost all my energy pool, I get four armor. Actually, you know what? That's probably worth it, because even if that's the only thing I can do that turn and it may, maybe even gets me hit, I usually with four shield, that's a lot of shield. Actually, I think I will grab that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Then I get plus one energy. That's true. It's another three card. I have that one artifact. I forgot. Yeah, that makes it that makes it even more worthwhile. Um, okay, so I have a every time you heal, heal one more. Do I have anything that heals me right now? Heal one after each combat. Wait a minute. Heal one after each combat. Every time you heal, heal one more. Combine them together, and you'll get heal two after each combat. Right? That would probably help me with whatever little dick, uh, dings and ticks I take. Uh, what else we have here? All dizzy cards deal one more damage. Okay, so this is where I need to ask. Are Dizzy's cards the corrosion beams? They are, you say. Okay, but... Mm. See, here's the thing, though. Whenever I play a deck builder, there's always some combination where I'm not sure how it works, and then I make an assumption, and then I'm wrong. So let's let's consider this for a moment. If Dizzy's cards all attacks all deal plus one damage, obviously, if Dizzy was shooting the weapon or whatever, the gun, that's gonna be a very straightforward plus one increase. But do, would this apply to the corrosion damage over time that Dizzy's corrosion status does? So corrosion's a stat, it's not a damage, mean it wouldn't help me. Okay. Because that would be a big deal if it was affecting the corrosion damage. All right, what else we got? Permanent gain, plus two max shield and pick up. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Again, though, I, I don't feel the... Well, I will start filling the shield bar with that four shield thing, but I have exactly four shields, so that kind of just balances out. I think I'll take the heal booster. That way I don't have to really fret over little damage ticks I take. I'm going to take the heal booster. Because 
because it does pair very nicely with this. So now if I take little bits of damage, I should be safer. That should keep me alive. All right, so yeah. Repair yard, what do I want to do this time? Probably upgrade again. Actually, let's take a look at... Oh wait, no, I didn't. That's right, I didn't actually. Okay, the ace card is... Yeah, okay, so if the card is upgraded, that's it. It cannot be upgraded a second time. Got it. So what do I want to upgrade this time? I have random curiosity. Stun charge. What's it do? Two or gives you a temp shield. Okay. Hmm. Actually, that's a free temp shield. That's not too bad. Make a corrosion better. That is an option. And we have the energy freedom thing and the three energy. So let's make it a three energy. Yeah. Let's let's. Now that we have the artifact that benefits from the three energy thing and gives me an energy back, more worth it. So let's see what the boss is for the sapphire cluster. And if it totally kicks my butt. Uh, I'm being held by a pirate in a cruiser class rail ship. Uh, hey, uh, hi, hello. <laughs> Squint. Oh boy. What is it? Put it on screen so we can all see. Sure, uh. Oh, hey, it's you. It's it's us from the future. Huh? I used to be so soft, this should be easy. Future us is murdering us? Oh, that's a ship. This part is concussible. Any shot that hits here will cancel this part's hit this turn. What part? The, the purple part? Okay. Intent, you say. Well, that looks like a thing they'll send cards out. What's this? Cockpit. Okay. Okay. Okay, how do I want to do this? Three cost raiders return. Yeah, that's obvious, but like, I'm trying to think, like, if I get scramble, I'll have four evade. I'm gonna take three damage if I do that. I guess I do heal too, though. And it's the. What well, is the boss? So as long as I. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess as long as I, uh. Don't die, I should be fine. Yeah, hard to evade damage on this turn. Yeah, I would agree. What, what is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll... Yeah, I guess I'll... Yeah, I have, to, I, have to, I have to at least avoid some of this damage. Okay, we got button mash. I think this is a good time for it, actually. Ooh, but Ace is here. The sooner I play Ace, the more effective it is. Okay. Hey, look at the situation. Hold on. I'm gonna take some more damage. That's okay. I oh, a bunch of missiles now. This is fine. Now I can start worrying about dodging. Yeah, that's fine. I had to think about that. 
I'm sort of taking like low damage so I can build up evade rather than base out my evade and then taking a bunch of damage. That's kind of my headspace right now. Um, let's see. I gotta wait for that third turn advantage. Okay. Let's, uh... Straw shot, see if I get anything useful. Okay. Not really. Now I will actually focus on evading. Hopefully we can get that evade built up a bit better, though. Oh, he couldn't move that much that time. Okay, this is a good time to button mash. Why? See, the missiles are a non-issue. Oh my fucking god, sir! You are not going anywhere. Oh, apparently I'm not. Hmm. Hey, what's that heat? What's that, what's that mean? If heat is three or more at the end of turn, overheat. Take one all day. Oh my god. I'm gonna guess that movement built up that heat. Alright, let's see. I'm thinking very carefully. Hold on. He sacrificed a lot to get back in range. Fair enough. Okay. My thinking is... A lot of movement on my part, but I can do it, so. Plus, he's gonna take a bunch of damage now, isn't he? In fact, didn't he kill himself? What? Okay, that heat was less damage than I thought it would be, but okay. Oh, it's it's two damage every- it's, Okay, it's one hull damage, but then he, he immediately built up heat again. So he's causing himself damage, just to stay in range of me. So, I'm glad to see the enemies do get a penalty for doing that shit. Thank goodness to see that. Um... Actually, I've won, as long as I just don't die this turn, so... Yeah. I, I was really nervous in this fight that I would overextend my evades and not be able to move out of the way. That's why I was actually taking intentional damage. Knowing, of course, that the boss fight at the end of an area, you'll heal after the end of it, Technically speaking, you can feel free to take damage tactfully if you want to, like, do what I was doing where I was trying to save up the aids. Like, that works out, you know? Oof. Hey, another ace. It's not upgrade this time, though. That being said, probably should grab it. Because that's going to stack up even more evades, and that's the most important thing for me. Here's the thing, though. There's one thing to consider. I gotta remember. If we end up with Seeker Missile enemies, I'm taking damage regardless of how much of it I have. So I have to I have to have some shields around for that. Still not two. It's true. Actually, wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. There's no point in upgrading to... There's no point in making the energy cost... Th two on a card that has three because I'm going to get energy back for having a three card played. It just occurred to me. Like, it's actually point... It's actually detrimental to decrease the cost in most cases. What do we got? Circuit Drive. Gain one Power Drive. At the second turn of combat, your enemy also gains Power Drive. Power Drive is, is added as extra damage ult. Well, that's just probably... Well, it's not going to affect passive, so fuck that. Uh, Genesis gain one of two common artifacts, then gain one of two common artifacts, then gain one of two common artifacts. Add three Genesis casters to your deck. Seems like a wasteful amount of packaging. Okay, I see. 
So a bunch of useless, expensive cards will be in my hand, but I get a bunch of artifacts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't litter in space. Can't just jettison those. Dirty engines. Gain one extra energy every turn. Add a trash to your draw pile every two turns. Uh... Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad. That would really stack up over time. Playing this card completely removes it from your deck. Yes, you play it and get rid of it and it's gone forever. Okay. That is indeed what it says. Playing this card completely removes it. So it's like... Hmm. I'm wondering if the trash cards would fuck me over in the long run or if that would actually work out just fine. I mean, to be fair... The Dirty Engine has given me an extra energy. The trash cards cost one energy. Oh, that's true. Every time I spin a Genesis character star, I get an energy back. So it wouldn't waste my turn quite as hard as it probably intends. That's a good point. Yeah, actually, you know what? That's fine, because that, that mitigates the temporary damage these cause anyways. I'll take the Genesis. What did, what did I get? I guess I get to pick now. Let's see. Um, revenge Drive. The first time you lose Hall each turn, you gain one Overdrive. Nah. I Convert. If you enter a turn with more than zero energy, gain one shield. Oh! That's an interesting mechanic. I suppose there's no reason not to have that. I could maybe make use of that here and there. Yeah, it does play well with the 2-3 cost. Uh, adapt to playing. Game one, max hall and heal one every time you defeat a boss or elite. Well, I do tend to go after them. Oh, gain plus one max hall. So, also would mean that I'm getting stronger every time I defeat a boss. Draw a card every time... Well, okay, yeah, I'll take adapt to playing. <laughs> the other one's like, oh, missing a shot? I mean, that's nice, too, but not as nice as that. Uh, okay. At the start of combat, gain, gain, gain a glissade. What the fuck's a glissade? Okay, let's see. Move right two spaces. For free. This card is not discarded at the end of your turn. What do you mean it's not discarded at the end of your turn? You mean it just sits there? All the time? And I, it's flippable too? Oh. Oh. Wait, 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 okay, wait, hold on. There's one thing that doesn't explain itself though. The magnet icon is explained, the movement's explained, the flippable's explained. Why is there a little Pac-Man ghost though? What does that mean? <laughs> Does it mean I'll, I mean does it mean I'll be attacked by Inky occasionally or something? Temporary. Oh, the card's temporary. I see. But technically, I'll get another one every single combat, so it's temporary in functionality, kind of. And then this other one is every five pair of cards get. Yeah, I'm gonna get premeditation. That's really a big deal, actually. That one. If you use it, it should be discarded. No, no, no. It will stay in my hand every single turn, right? It just disappears between combats, but it'll always appear again. Theoretically, it doesn't stick around, but it will always come back when I do another combat. It'll stay until you use. Okay. Oh, so when I use the card, it's gone? For that combat? That's still useful, though, because it's free. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah. You good? Yeah. I can pile the ship for a while if you need a break. No, really, I'm fine. It's just... She really was me. Perry, tell me honestly. Do you think I'd look cool in a black jacket like that? Her purple eyeliner so cool! Riggs. <laughs> Riggs, you're not focused on the biggest, bigger picture here. Hey, you saved during these runs? It's a roguelike, so probably not. Enter a new zone? Who knows where the fuck? This is where the ship has been taking us. What is that? It's the same energy signature as the Cobalt's warp drive. Without containment shielding. And at energy levels that shouldn't be possible. It's pretty. Let's go kill it. Is that our plan? Shrug. Oh, well, oh, it's, it's, uh... Alright. So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get rid of these Genesis casters. Uh... Hmm. 
Yeah, may as well just do that right now, actually. Alright, let's see. So... No, yeah, see? This card is not discarded at the end of your turn. So it sits in my hand until I use it, and then it's gone when I use it, because I got exhaust. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, alright, I get it. It's very useful to start, because I don't have much evade right now, so... Damn, if I had two evade, I would just use that. Ah, oh, but I will heal. Yeah, let's apply the corrosion. Basic dodge. Oh wait, I can still dodge this. Eh. See, this is what I thought. Now the enemies are getting kind of some crazy shields, so... I don't have to worry about it, though, you know? Oh, there's Ace. Yeah, okay. Better to use it now. Oh, yeah, that's right, I can flip this. Forget about that. Bye! <laughs> Forgot that was flippable! Okay. Still a draw shot. Okay, I have a feint. That's too bad. I mean, it's useful, but, like, not this time. Okay. Well, if I do a stun charge... Ah, oh, bugger. I don't have a card that would set me up nicely for that. Oh, actually... It's fine. If I use the thing that makes my next attack do a stun, and then I stop in the combat turn, and then I go to another combat turn, do I still have a stun available? I don't actually know. I was thinking about that. There's my other ace. Okay, I don't. Alright, cool. That's fine. Energy transfer to shields! No sweat! Wait, what? What did it do? Oh, it added, uh, it's three damage plus two. Oh, wait, hold on. The enemy's gonna apply a status effect to itself. Alright, so it added energy to shields. Oh, did it? Okay, I see. I think I get what it did. That's fine. I like how my, my guys are commenting about how many times I'm missing. Like, damn, I missed. And it's like, no, it's fine. It's fine, guy. That's part of the plan. Also, the Genesis casters are already gone. I got rid of all three. So now they're just... That one disadvantage is gone now, so... That's cool. You know, I think I'll just show off here. Now, nah, okay. Yeah, I'll just show off. I have enough shield to just take the hit, so... Fuck you. Let's we save some evades. Not that I really need to worry about it too much, but... More evade is better. <laughs> I like how my... I like how I ended up playing this game. Just essentially just... You know... You know, I, you know it's like, uh, you know, I, I think I'll just, like... Not play the normal way where I'm attacking. I, don't, I could have applied a Corrosion Beam, it's a little late for that. I will try to stack the corrosion beams, but as long as I have at least one active, I feel comfortable. Uh, let's see. As long as it's doing two damage. Okay, let's see. Pierce attack ignores all shields and armor. Well, that's very good if you care about that. I have another way of ignoring shields and armor, so I don't need that. Prepare. Draw two extra cards next turn. Gain two extra energy next turn. Hmm. Nah. Sun charge two. Nah, I'm good. Pass on that. All right, what do we got? We're in the unknown zone. Is this the last? Is this the last zone? Am I like running up to the final part of the game? Uh, let's see. Well, I want to take the upper path because the repair yards are invaluable. I'll take the lower path because that hits a strong enemy, which means extra uh, hull. Yeah, that seems good. 
Oh, great! Asteroids, my friend. Whenever the asteroids show up, it's just like, all right, cool. Hmm. I only have one dodge starting, but that's just exactly enough. So let's just, uh... Oh, Glissade is now... Can I flip it? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. All right, ace. I should ask, though, what the fuck is this drill? Um... It's just a drill. It's, it's, just a, it's just an attack, apparently. I thought it might be something special, given it's a drill, but it doesn't look that... It doesn't look to be any different, so... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna save the Glissade. I don't need it right now. I can just use... One sh Actually, I guess we have learned something. The enemy does take a penalty moving a whole bunch to catch up to me. So, let's go ahead and use Lunge and Whiplash. That is a bit of a shame, though. We'll destroy some asteroids, but it's still better than anything else. Actually, no, we'll only destroy one. Okay, there we go. And I'll save, we'll save for later. Yeah, it just stays there, so... Hi there. <laughs> yeah, hi! You didn't move enough to actually attack me, even if there wasn't an asteroid in the way. Good work. I'm gonna corrosion beam you. Alright, let's see. Oh, what are you doing there? Hmm... You have a little shieldy bit here. What's this about? Are they gonna raise their shields? Oh no! <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and basic dodge, so I can get a little more dodge ready. See, this is the thing. The moment I understood how Corrode worked, I was like, oh, I see. So this will skip the me this will skip some of the mechanics, right? Because there's nothing quite as annoying as having to work. I, I, I have a personal pet peeve, right? It's a normal mechanic in video games, right? There's tons of games to use it, but I hate shields. I hate having to chew down somebody's sh enemy shield in a game just to do the hull damage, and then they just get the shield back up, and then I have to do it again, and again, and again. Yeah, I'll just get around that if I can. Corrosion. And ace. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's so annoying. He's still not attacking. You know, he's, he, he's not. I guess I'll just... I guess I'll just use Corrosion Beam. And then do a draw shot, because I'd have no other better idea to do. <laughs> oh no, I plunked a shield. I don't know what he's doing. I guess the problem here is that... Okay, there he's finally using his drills. I was wondering what was up with that. Uh, okay. So he has a lot of corrosion. So he's kind of dead in two turns. It really did, car. The skip the shield system mechanic, which is much preferred. Um, I'm gonna go ahead... Shift you. And you know what? This is a good time for Glissade. Just saving that evade, if you notice. I'm just like, if I don't have to use it, I won't. Alright, I'm gonna do a really high high I'm gonna do a really um high high strategy move this turn. I'm gonna do this. Done. <laughs> oh shit, he has a three shot going. I was I was overconfident. It's fine. I, I immediately kill it. I don't give a give you give shit. <laughs> Wait, lose one hull, add one damage hull. No. Stun shot? No. Another button mash. Yeah, maybe. There's only one bad thing about button mash. It only moves me left. But that generally will work in most situations. Should I grab it? It's a non-upgrade of button mash, so it doesn't have the four shield to evade, but... Should I should I grab it or should I just... Meh. Yeah, I think I'll just skip it. I like how I was overconfident that one round, but it didn't matter because I still healed. <laughs> <laughs> Meowdy! Not in front of everyone, please. <laughs> Meowdy? That's a, that's a secret cat term for hello. You can't use that in front of just everyone. Alright, let's, let's upgrade... the ace, probably. Well... Actually, wait. Yeah, so let's see. If I leave the cost at three, it literally doesn't make a difference because that one artifact. And it gives me two evade immediately. That's pretty strong. That is pretty good. I think I'll take it, actually. 
That's that's immediate. That means that I don't have to worry about. Because sometimes it's it's like, oh, if I use the ace card, I don't have much. I can't really add an evade card to that. But now I now I can. It's fine. There's a weak repeated signal coming from inside this asteroid. This is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. This message is a warning about danger. Wow, a warning left by a dead civilization. I fear their own creation enough to sail away from here for aeons. A haunting reminder of the fragility of life and the hubris of living. Let's get digging! Absolutely. What do they got? This thing looks uh, weird. Okay, let's see. Wait, hold on. What the fuck? Okay, so it's injured? And it's not attacking me? Hmm. Wait, you're walled. Oh no. Oh no! Nobody said this was a mechanic! Are objects shifting with the wall or destroyed? Oh, okay. Um, but it's really destroyed. Okay, hold on, let me think. And it's cannon placement is such that I'll have to take damage from it regardless. Corrosion and Ace. That's gotta be what I do. Yeah, that's what I thought. It, it's, it's a trap. It's not as weak as it looks. I know that. The best thing I can do right now is probably... So if I move left four spaces, am I gonna get hurt? I kind of need that shield up. Okay, I guess I just get stopped. All right. Nobody said there would be an interior location. We're in a bad spot here. I suppose I should shoot it. Missile bay wing. Okay. Wait, ho I'm hoping that when it gets dug out, I I'm hoping this is this temporary, but I don't know if it is. I'm hoping we, like, enter into space in a phase two or something. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, it's walking towards me. Okay, I'm only taking one damage. It's not too bad. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm feeling like the objective here is to apply as many fucking corrosion beams as possible and then just kind of not die if possible. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so like there's no... Wait, hold on. How wide is my ship? My ship is five wide. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Can I actually dodge this? I think I can. Hold on. Thank God I'm not that big. Oh, there's always a little bit of room. My strategy still works. I'm just in a very tight spot. Okay, got it. This is tight, but... As long as I'm always against the wall, he should reposition, hopefully, in a way that lets me dodge. I'm really hoping. Good. See, yeah, see he's like really pushing against the wall. He really wants to move as far as possible. That's gonna that's gonna save my life here. Alright, cool. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna probably Oh, we got lunch again. Man, that is coming in handy, actually. Also, this thing doesn't have a shield, so I can actually hurt it with that. Um, okay. Let's lunge our way over there. And then, can I scramble a move? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, the moment I saw I was walled in, I was like, oh no, my entire strategy is lost. No, it's fine, though. This thing is doing massive damage. Do you see that seven damage cannon right there? 
I mean, like, if I was getting hit by it, this would be really horrible. So how many movements do I have to do to go from right to left? How many move how many evades do I need to do it this movement each turn? I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So I need six. Okay. I'd love to apply that ace, but I wait, I can. I'm dumb, I forgot it was- I'm glad I noticed that it was the turn where I get four energy. <sighs> thank god this is my- thank god this is a workable strategy or this thing would have made mincemeat of me. Can you imagine trying to fight this thing directly? Well, like, granted, granted, I guess I can always hit it. Like, no matter where I am, I am in range because of how the position of the walls are, so. Um, let's see. Okay, well, I guess I'll just hmm. have exactly enough move, but I can also increase it. And I guess I can't corrosion beam, so draw a shot. I mean, it's gonna die next turn. I don't know why I'm so worried. There we go. I was very concerned when I saw that layout. When I realized that we were walled in, I was like, oh no. What's this? Bolt A. It lets you move left to right with left. Okay, um. So this is just a free evade? That, that's probably fine. I don't think that would. I don't think that would hurt my deck at all. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. All discard. No, I don't care about that. Jumper cables. Tip shield. Equal to your miss. Oh! Well, I never. Wait. Oh, wait. That's. Oh, well, I thought I was like missing shield. I thought I saw. I, I thought I saw a variation of this that said missing shield, which would be actually quite good. Um, I wonder if that exists actually. Is there a version of this that gives you tip shield equal to your missing shield? Because that would be pretty powerful. Every time your discard pile is shoved back in your draw pile, the enemy loses one haul. How often is that? How does that happen? I mean, I guess I'll grab this one, but I don't really know under what conditions this triggers. Okay. All right, we're gonna the unknown energy signature path, I just realized. All right, what we got? So do I also get a really bad headache? No, it's from that high-pitched static. What is that? Ah, oh, you all again. Hello! I'm glitching. <laughs> which one of you- which one of you shall I teach this time? Uh, pick from a set of cards, you say. Okay, people who played this game, if I don't like any of them, can I just, like, not take one? Or is it gonna force me? Cause like, sure, if it, I can say, no, I don't like any of these. Do you have to pick if I do it? Okay. Odds are you could say no. Hmm. So you guys don't know. I <laughs> like how it's very much orange dominant here. Um, I guess the, I hope I can pick. I could ruin the deck if I can't. So you guys don't know for sure, huh? Sadly, it doesn't tell us. It simply says pick from a set of cards. Granted, it says it does. It doesn't. It does say pick from a set of cards, which sounds like an order. Like yes, you gotta pick. Um, so, no. Force. Here's the thing. This this always happens with me in roguelikes. There's always some situation where I get stonewalled for a second because I'm like, well, I don't know if I can make this decision. I don't have enough information. You know? Why does Brian have a circle buyer? Because she has, it's her ability that causes Glissade to happen. Yeah, only, almost all the abilities have been like generic abilities for the ship, hence the cat having them. 
We only got one actual like character ability. <laughs> Uh, I guess rigged. You are currently prevented from skipping card rewards. Well, yeah, should have told me then. What's this? Let's see. Draw three cards. Okay. There, then I guess bolt's fine. So, okay. Well, I'm learning. You should have told me that game. You should have should have put a little warning saying you you have to pick a card or something. Come on, come on. Now hold on, it's fading away. Energy readings are back to normal. I mean, it's fine. It it doesn't necessarily say you have to. It says pick from one of three. But it doesn't say pick from... What it should say is pick from one of three cards. You must take one card. Like, again, like, the extra clarification is what you would see in an actual card game's the card description. To, like, because card descriptions are typically crystal clear on cards, you know? So, like, if the card roguelike wants to be... A card roguelike, I would like it to be as clear as a card game. I do have the option to pick nothing, which infers that I would have to otherwise choose something. Again, it's the, the, yeah, the what we got is fine. It's just I would prefer to tell a bit more information. That's all. Uh, quick draw, two extra cards to the first. Yeah, sure. Can't see that backfire. So what do I want to do? I know energy signature or just some fights. I'm aware, Stretch of Ari. What was, I was pointing out was that there was only one character specific artifact I had so far. Most of them were generic. Um, I guess the unknown energy signature is more interesting. It could backfire me, of course, but. Hey, it's Tooth! I like Tooth. I already like Tooth. Who's this guy? Yo, welcome to my Emporium of Wondrous Ideas, Traveler. May I offer you one of my creations? These all seem absolutely useless. Perhaps they are, perhaps they are! <laughs> so they are! Gotcha! Uh, buckshot. What the? <laughs> One zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. Why? <laughs> Waltz. Instantly move two spaces to the left and two spaces to the right. Why? <laughs> Add a card. Lose one hull. Kill one hull. Huh. Lightning in a bottle. Gain three energy. For the cost of three energy. That's useful to me. <laughs> Technically speaking. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking at these cards, like these are all, these cards seem pointless, but if paired with the right setup, for instance, there's probably a setup where it's like all cards do one more damage. Suddenly the buckshot's a one cost card that is three damage. There's probably a card that says something about like gain some amount of evade depending on the number of moves you take. So moving around four tiles may actually give you some extra evade. Or the there might be a trigger where every time you lose hull, you get a shield. So this would be beneficial because it gives you a shield or something like that. Synergy dependent cards, yeah. Lightning in a bottle is synergy is something I synergize with. This will basically make a three energy turn a four energy turn. Or a four energy turn a five energy turn and so on. So, yeah. Ho ho! Farewell! Thanks, Tooth. Thanks, I guess. There's nothing useless in a game with synergy. What what is okay? What setup benefits? What what? I'm just making predictions, mind you. What I said out loud because the only setup I know that works is the one I just grabbed. What what is Walt's what is Walt synergize to? I'm kind of curious. Oh, you're very small. That's good. I can dodge you easy. If this attack hits you, it'll also give you a status. Don't worry, it won't. <laughs> it won't hit me. But what's the status? Oh, missile blade. Oh, they have a missile bay, though. They might shoot some seeker missiles. You gotta be ready for that. Oh, it doesn't say what status. Okay. So I immediately start with lightning in a bottle. So, five energy. Engage and animate. No, you're not. Let's go ahead and ace. Corrosion beam. And then with my remaining one energy, that's just enough to whiplash and dodge. Or... Yeah, that would probably work. Okay. That was only a one damage crow, but it's still done. It's still good. Uh, let's see. We have a bolt. Again, if bolt shows up, just spin it, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Uh, scramble, dodge. I can't really do much damage at the moment. That's okay. 
He is going to shoot a miss, is that Seeker? Okay, this is actually fine, though, because he moved in a weird way, so hold on a minute. Uh, but Mash, you're not gonna, at a good time. That's all right. Perfect. Okay. Ace. So this is why I still need attack cards, actually. Because Seeker Missiles cannot be avoided. Alright, let's see. Got some better corrosion applied. And I may as well do a draw shot because I might get a free evade. Yep, did. Wait, why did I draw? Yeah, that's right, I did draw two cards. So this guy needs to die before he Seekers me to death, basically. Fortunately, Seekers only shoot once every three turns, it looks like, so I should be okay. Just need to move. That's it. That guy, the Seeker, dies with him. <laughs> it's like, the missiles. I, I would think that they could fire after the enemy's death or something, because, I mean, they're already they're already sent out, right? But, thankfully. Leaving energy behind also gives you shield extra your artifacts. Oh, that's right! So if I don't, if I if I do not need to spend energy, I can just get shield. Is it, is it, what is it? Is it one, do I get one shield per energy, or do I just get, like, one shield per turn I have energy? I can't remember what it, it's actually like. Let's see, what's it? Every time you end with more than yeah, it's just one shell. I can so I, as long as I can end with just one energy on the turn, that's still good. Uh, basic scramble, basic lunge, multi stun. I don't feel I don't feel I need any of this. What do you guys think? Okay, so I kind of. <laughs> How's the ship right? Because it'd be expected, which I mean bad. Okay, uh. Corrosion beam. Actually, I want to see something. Let's see, it's an X to. It's X, okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, piercing damage. It's kind of cool. Wait, I can upgrade light in a bottle? Uh, oh, it doesn't exhaust. Oh, it doesn't exhaust. Alternatively, it gives me a card. Hmm. Doesn't exhaust. Meaning it could pop up and pop up and pop up, and every time it does, I have an extra energy that turn. Yeah, that seems worth it. I didn't think I could upgrade that card. That's interesting. So anyways, let's fight maybe the final boss? This is our final waypoint? It is. The Cobalt is embedded in that singularity. Are we ready? Don't look so nervous, guys. Hey, Cat, how many times have we been here before? Zero. Oh. You guys will do great. Good luck in there. What do you mean? We can't fight the Cobalt while it's inside that singularity. Someone needs to bring it out. I'm uploading myself to the Cobalt now. Bye! Oh, hold on. There's probably some other way to accomplish that. Cat. She's already gone. Okay. Oh, all right. That's a, that's a health bar. That's a shield bar, too. Holy crap. Um, let's see. I need to immediately think about what I want to do here. I got a... Fr okay, I got... Uh, hmm. Lead in with a corrosion beam so we can start doing damage. Then apply hmm, a scramble. Scramble bolt glissade. I think I can get out of the way at that point. I think. But with that health bar, we need a corrosion stat, so I'll hold off an ace. And 
and hopefully... I keep saying that we should just leave. This is a great strategy. I, I'm glad you agree with my strategy, Riggs. <laughs> Obviously, I could take some hits, but I'd like to avoid that. Okay, they're gonna force me cards. Not sure what they're gonna be, probably jump cards. All right, let's see. Oh, light in a bottle, yes. Okay, perfect timing for that. I've got Ace active. Thanks, Tooth! Your cards are useless and I love them. So I got a bunch of trash, okay. Oh no! Red icon means seeker, I believe. Alright. I do have the shield, but I don't remember how much damage they do. Also faint when they're active. Um, I think I can survive it though. Those are secrets, right? Well, they're not facing me. Hold on. What are these? Heavy missile! Oh good! Okay, it's just a really strong missile, but it doesn't hold. Alright, that's fine. I need to get rid of the trash. Or I could hold on to it for extra energy. I'll get rid of it. Okay, I'm- listen, those missiles could do 967,000 damage, but I'm fine with it as long as it's not a Seeker. <laughs> like, as long as it's not a Seeker, whatever. <laughs> So the trash is going to be a little bit annoying, but I think I'll be okay. I seem to bail up a lot of evade before it starts showing up. Oh. It's one of those turns I get to build up evade. So the best way to fight every enemy is just to not. Turns out. Okay, well I guess I'll... Scramble trash... The trash will stack up on me over time, I think, but I think I'll be okay. Okay. Tooth, you're amazing. Thank you. All right, let's see. I mean, it gives me that, and I get that back, which lets me do that. There's a lot of trash, but it should be fine. Lighting the bottle. Holy shit. It's amazing how that became so useful, like, immediately. And, uh, yeah, let's get rid of the trash. No reason not to faint. There we go. Dude, guys, I played FTL. If you played FTL and you got to the final boss, you do not have... You, listen, man, you do not fucking... Listen, you do not fucking go, Hooray, I beat it! No, you don't fucking do that with the FTL final boss. No, fuck you. So listen, ever since that game... Games of Silver Vibe, I'm not... This is not the final fight. That's all I'm trying to say. Build up as much of it as possible. FTL's final boss blows up. It's a giant ship. It explodes. And then it comes back and hit, attacks you again missing a wing. Then it explodes. And then it attacks you again with just the fucking fucking body of it. It is not fucking over. And it it has new systems each time. It, 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 it's And if you're thinking, oh, I'll be smart. I'll eliminate all the human crew on it. Because that'll make it a lot weaker. Sorry, the computer just took over and it's way more efficient than humans. Now you just made it stronger. 
What's happening? Sisters report. The cobalt went critical. We're exposed to the core singularity. All the emergency blast doors closed. Yeah, the final boss of FTI. I beat it. Once. <laughs> Holy shit, though. Always leave one guy alive in it. Yeah, if you leave one guy alive on the on the final boss, that's perfect. Like, that makes it the least efficient it will be. But, uh... Sucks to be you, though, if you're... If you kill all but one guy, and then the next phase happens, and that next phase happens to have had the ship part with that one guy in blown up, so now it's now it's back to automated systems. I think it did that, too, if I recall. Yes, but we can't sustain this. The hull is literally melting. Come on, man. We beat the cobalt. Where else are we supposed to do? Be beat it better. I don't know. I took no damage. <laughs> Hello. Who is hailing us? Identify yourselves. Yeah, make a snappy. We have like 30 seconds left, max. Hello, broken ones. Your poor shattered time streams can help you. But there are other souls tangled in this time knot. Do you mean Isaac and Max? Who? And two others. Now, who shall I repair first? What? what repair? What do you mean repair exactly? I, I took no damage. What am I doing? I mean, Riggs is really important to me. They're the dodgy one. Uh, so Riggs? Riggs. Also possum. You know, possums are cool. What is this? Be still. You mentioned a broken time stream. Is that like my past? Is that why so many of my memories are hazy? Yes, you more than so, so than any. Now be still. Okay. Ah. Oh, we got... Did we just get a... Did we get a goat? Or is that a... I think that's a goat. I think we got a goat. Ah, uh, so you want to play multiple runs. Okay, okay. The llama later on. Rude. Hesler <laughs> is upset. And it looks like... Okay, so you have to beat the game a total of... 18 times, it looks like. To unlock everybody's memories. So, basically, when you beat the game, you still fucking die. But, if you successfully get to the end of the game... You do get memories unlocked, you get characters recovered, so... Yeah, I get it. You have to run previous character to get the next character. See, see, I see, I see, fair enough. So, memory one. See, 124 days, okay. Cobalt SCT! This is G72 Artemis, requesting permission to dock. Copy, G72 Artemis, state your cargo and passenger roster. Cargo sheet list, 30 tons of water, 10 tons of rations, 2 tons of science equipment. Copy. Proceed to dock port 5. Okay, so here, every memory is also a bit of a little cutscene. Please sign here, here, and here. Who are you? What happened to the last delivery pilot? I'm Riggs. I just started today. Last pilot got swooped by some pirates along the route, so he quit. So they installed a cat on the Artemis and hired me. And you know how to handle yourself in combat. I do, yeah. Good. You'll, you'll be the ne our pilot... For, you'll be the pilot for our regular deliveries from here on out. Unless I get blown up. <laughs> I like Riggs' personality, too. Not, not only they're not only were they the most vi mechanically viable character for me, but they have a blase personality. And it may change a bit depending on memories. That makes sense. Well. Well, I know my build. <laughs> Uh, it may not be, I, you know, I say, I would say it may not always be feasible, but guys, I've run into three corrosion beams. I could probably do this build with one, with, with proper work, but, uh, Dizzy was corrosion, Riggs was evasion. They're both important, because the evasion's pointless without the corrosion, so. I guess I will need to keep Dizzy and Riggs, but I suppose I can replace Perry with the new character for another run. I assume I can switch between the three. Or do I get to have all four? I assume I have to switch. So I probably would switch out Riggs, because Riggs was just basically damage. And that's fine. But, <laughs> you know. The Charm finally got good luck in a deck builder. To be fair, I activated the good luck by going, see all these mechanics? I'd like to not interact with them so as to not have them fuck me over. <laughs> For instance, if I had actually engaged the standard traditional way of play, I would have had to do this. I would have had to... I would have had to do several things that would be very difficult for me. And that would be 
I would have to stay in range of the enemy so I could shoot it and then get out of range of its attacks or take them. And then I would also have to make sure I'm doing enough damage where I can take the, down the enemy's shields and keep them down long enough to do hull damage. So I also would have to make sure my DPS is solid enough to actually push through the shields of the enemy. Especially with some of those enemies having ridiculous shields. So all of that would require fairly good luck of the draw. And I wouldn't have that, probably. Not for that much intricate detail of mechanics. But a Bacrosia build? I can pull that off because it's passive. I can work out a build to simply keep myself alive while I allow for passive damage. That works for me because it doesn't rely on as much luck of the draw. Do you intend to play more? Or can I tell the broke stuff right? I, do, I think I will play more of this. This is actually really enjoyable. Probably because it'll let me play the way I want to play, which is nice. I appreciate that. Okay. So that's, yeah, 18 memories in total. A lot of cards. We only found a very small portion of them. I wonder what else is out there. And we got Isaac. His cards manip create and manipulate mid-drill objects like drones and missiles. You know, I think I could use those more than the guns, because I could drop a missile and get the fuck out of there, and the missile will probably do something useful later. And the drones, I wonder what those do. That that would probably be more useful than a basic attack. Um, unlock the new kid. Unlock Isaac. That's cute, the new kid. Because he's a goat. <laughs> kid. What about the other two? Okay, they don't... Oh, there's, oh, there's even more characters, though. This crewmate will invite herself aboard eventually. Don't worry about it. Maybe requires a random event. And this one, who knows? Hmm. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna run on hard or harder to unlock this ship. I probably could do that. I wonder what it has. Okay. So I... This, yeah, that was just normal difficulty. Hard mode. Events are harder. Start combat with a weak cockpit. Okay, so basically a weak point. Plus one basic shot, less pre-upgraded card offerings. Okay, so I get less pre-upgraded cards. Minus one max haul. Wait, plus one basic shot? That sounds like an advantage. Oh yeah, I guess some of these do give advantages. Start with we combat, plus one basic shot, plus one corrupted core. I think it's a bad thing. Less pre-upgraded card offerings, minus three max haul, plus one less max haul gain from boss kills. Oh, that's that sucks. At least only offer two artifacts. Okay. Hardest. Take a downside on boot sequence. What the hell's a downside? If it's a harder, start combat with brittle clock bit. That's that's double damage. Uh, basic shot corrupt core, less free upgrade power offerings, minus three like max hull, one less max hull power. Boss kills at least only offer two artifacts. Start with fifty percent hull missing. Most enemies are harder. That sounds difficult. Well, I may have only just beaten the game once and on normal, but I'm still pretty happy with the fact that I did it on the first attempt I ever did of this game. Uh the 40 different artifacts unlock this ship. I wonder if there's a ship that would fit my playstyle better. I'm noticing the heart ship. Guys, I don't care that the hull is smaller. Look at the ship profile. The, the normal Artemis is uh, five wide. The ship's four wide. My strategy worked way better with this ship. I need this guy. So I need to play on hard mode for this one. I'm, I mean, I'm done playing for now. Oh my god, this ship is... Oh, this is interesting. This ship is six wide, but one of those slots is an empty... You notice that second slot there? That is one of those uh, kind of scaffolding slots where if if you're shot there, it just passes through. So technically only five we, only five uh, points that you can hit this ship. But it is six wide. I think the sure ship would be better. You think this ship would be better for me? I don't know. This one seems kind of difficult to set up with, but maybe. Time for walkies. Okay. Well, let me do my outro first. This one's five wide. Run a crew without Dizzy. Wait, hold on. I probably could do that. Well, wait, who? Dizzy was the one that gave me corrosion, right? Wait, without Dizzy, Riggs, or Perry? Okay, so basically just the new crowd for that one. All right. Well, I mean, that might... I probably could find a workable strategy for that. Win 10 runs, unlock this ship. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting. That only has that only has four points that can be hit, but it has two parts in the middle. So like this ship could easily this ship would be a pretty good shape to slip around bullets, actually. You know what? See, here's the thing though. Here's the problem. See, they, what they need to do is design a ship that is nothing but one unit and then a bunch of scaffolding and then another unit. 
Like, apparently having... Like, you think the scaffolding would be a weak point, but in fact it makes the ship invincible, so why not have more scaffolding on your ship? <laughs> Good night to you, Xerix. Yeah, I think, I think this guy would be actually my pick, so maybe I'll do a normal... Maybe I'll do a hard mode run later. Get this guy unlocked and, uh... Also, I'm noticing the cannon on this thing is on the right, which is actually better for my playstyle too, because it's probably going to be easier for me to get a shot off on the enemy on the very edge of my ship than on the middle. I don't know where the cannon on this thing is, though. Can I, like, move the cannon around? I, I don't think I can. Then, what's this? Cargo hold. All artifact map notes offer one more option. Oh, okay, more options when you're selecting artifacts. Oh, hold on. And then this gains one shield invade on the first turn. Okay. So the other ships would have other abilities. I wonder what they are. I wonder what they are though. This one gets three artifacts to start out. So, hmm. yeah, this is a cool game. Uh, I like that it let me play my way. And even if I didn't have corrosion, I could probably find another dodge build. I would think that like Isaac here does drones and missiles. I probably could place down some missiles right away and let the missiles do their work. That would also probably work, since the missiles do not get shot at the same. Like the missiles don't do damage at the same time as I'm in front of the enemy. So I can place a missile and leave. <laughs> that would work. Yeah, this is a good game. I like this one. I like the fact that it's... It, like, I know it was normal difficulty, but it is kind of hard to win a roguelike on the first attempt, so... I feel kind of good about that, too. Just I just stumbled into the right build. Um, and I do see the, the synergies, too. I think is I wasn't sure if I'd like this one, but I have to say, this was a deck builder... You know, I started the, the intro, I said... I generally don't like deck builders because I generally have bad RNG in them. I feel like I manipulate the RNG into my favor here, and I like the fact that I was able to do that. This was actually a lot of fun, um, and actually I would say it's probably one of the most enjoyable deck builders I've played in a while. Considering I, I do remember I have enjoyed some deck builders in the past, but it's not very often. Uh, I will say that simply. So it's nice to see this, and it's in addition, it's kind of furry if you notice too. I'm kind of curious what the rest of the story is, so I think I'll keep playing this one on my own time. But uh, that was Cobalt Car. It, it costs, uh, by the way, 20 USD, it looks like, which I think is a very, very fair price. It seems like there's a fair amount to do in this, a fair amount to unlock, a uh, fair amount to see. So, yeah, it seems like a reasonable price. Uh, and given that it is Christmas coming up, you might have a winter sale where you can pick it up for cheaper, too, maybe. But, uh, yeah, that was Cobalt Car. I hope you guys enjoyed, because I think I did. <laughs>